Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess, and holy crap, I know I've been missing forever. I have not posted a video in a very long time, but um, a lot has changed, I'm back in school, still painting though, and um, you can mostly see me on Instagram at Pearl of a Girl Nursery, I just don't have time to make videos that much anymore, but I wanted to show you guys my most recent personal collection baby. I am rooting now, finally. It took me four years. Not to root her, but to actually start rooting. And, um, this is only like my seventh or eighth rooting job. She's got both root rooted and painted hair. And it pretty much goes with the pattern, but I like how, for instance, if I wanted to go like this, like even if you brush it back, her hair's not gonna look bald. Come on, Cammy, you can focus. You can do it! Really? There we go. Like, she's not gonna look bald if I were to push her hair back like that. And I like kind of having a pattern mapped out. I like her hair off to the side. But anyway, uh, this is another Davini. Um, I know I have had a Davini before, but she just... I kind of have a name to go with each look of a doll. I sold Elowen. Uh, right now I have Blair. Lilia is actually over here. I'm a total mess right now because I'm studying for a bio lab. But um, I got this outfit today and I'm actually very proud of myself because it was huge on her. Like, okay. <laughs> this is where there were two buttons, one here and one here. And this is where the button was. And like, look how much space. <laughs> So I took the bottom button off and put it on top, and I did the same to the other one. And even the shirt was big. Oh, she looks so cute. Even the shirt was big, but I kind of... <clears throat> See, like, I made... I had an extra button, so... Hopefully I can show you guys. Um, I had an extra button in my little sewing kit, so I added a little button. You can do it. There we go. So I added the white button, but the purple button was the original, but now it covers her cloth body a little bit more. And it's not so huge. But she's the Indie Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. And she is absolutely precious. Painted by myself, rooted by myself. Um, for those of you who haven't seen me in a while, you might remember I pretty much only collect dolls that I've made myself. I'm not really into role-playing or anything like that, or even into collecting that much. I just like having a little showcase of my dolls. But anyway, this was the cutest little overall set ever, so I had to make it fit her perfectly. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, I've been posting some pictures of her on Instagram. There's her little feet. She's a very fair baby. That's how I like my babies. I like them fair with really dark hair. Because that's me. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. And she can sort of suck her thumb, but I probably can't do it right now. With one hand. I yeah, sort of can. But, oh, she's so cute. And I also got it. Alright, excuse the mess, because I have a very tiny room, and I make this, like, my study. So you can see my books. That's my study session. But I finally got a little car seat thing, and she looks so cute in it. There's my plastic baggies for all of my index cards. I have so many index cards all over the place. I'm kind of a study Nazi. <laughs> but, um, I've been trying to study in my room, because reasons. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And I'll be moving into my own place. I won't have roommates in two weeks. Um, but yeah, school. I'll give you guys a full update eventually. Maybe. <laughs> Once YouTube becomes the place that it used to be. Maybe. But I just really don't have too much time for it anymore. It's just so much easier to post a picture. And I hate it because I consider YouTube to be my first home. But, oh, she's so cute and I just had to show her to you guys. And her hair is so soft. Um, I put a little bit of mineral oil, like baby oil. Just 
Johnson's baby oil in her hair and I've started doing that instead of coconut oil and it really like it doesn't stay like greasy greasy it just kind of has that slight texture to it I don't know if you can tell but it's that slight baby greasiness it's so realistic and more realistic even than coconut oil which I mostly use to kind of moisturize and treat the hair so that it wouldn't get too dry and break but this really gives you the actual feel of a slightly greasy baby head without looking like a grease ball, you know? It's only kind of the top of her head that looks a little greasy, which is just like a newborn baby. But these particular flyaways, these are nice and dry. <laughs> she looks so cute. Oh, and I love that I can kind of play with her hair. I really cannot believe it took me this long to start rooting because... It's not too hard. I think I just kind of had a very epiphany moment with my technique where I'm like, holy crap, I can grab the hair with the needle. All this time I've been watching people and I thought they were like just kind of putting the needle by the hair and pulling out like a single hair and then rooting that. And I was like, how are they doing that? And I realized they're not just like pulling a hair out with the needle. They're like putting a, like imagine, all right, there's the hair. They're putting the needle through the hair onto the head so they're holding it down and I don't know why it took me so long to realize that but I was once I figured that out I was like oh my gosh <laughs> uh yeah and it took me I, I, I rooted Elowen's hair and then sold her but Elowen wasn't micro rooted and I don't know what came over me her painted hair just turned out really good um she had sort of a painted base <clears throat> she doesn't have like fully fully painted hair but she's got a really nice base there like if I were to brush her hair out of the way you can kind of see, which I love because, um, like, look at that. A lot of times with reborns in particular, because you can't really get those baby, that combination of baby, baby fine hairs all throughout the head and then the longer hairs on top of them, sometimes that's really hard to get. And even when you do get it, they just get super dry and they break off or they're kind of turn into flyaways. But, like, I love that even if her hair is messy, she still has that base in there. And hairlines in particular just go all over the place and it bugs me so much when they're not nice. So I like that she has a painted hairline. Because even when the mohair part of her hairline is messy, it still <laughs> looks okay. And she still looks real. Oh, But I am uh, accepting rooted customs. I'm a little backed up right now because I've been dealing... Oh, that's another thing. I've been dealing with a cough. Just a persistent cough that hasn't stopped. I managed to not cough throughout this video, which I'm very proud of myself for. Helps that I'm sitting down. But, um, we're trying to figure out what's causing it. Uh, acid reflux is one of the main things that they're thinking. But I've had a lot of tests. I had to do a barium swallow, which is the worst possible thing in the world. I'd much rather they just cut a Y in my chest and dig around until they figure out what's going on. But, like, I've had a cough off and on for four years, and it's kind of halted my reborning, because I was... I, I didn't want to make it worse. Even though I do use a mask. Oh, she's so cute. But we're getting closer to figuring out what's causing it. But my attacks, almost like asthma attacks, but with coughing. I get so bad and I can't, you know, I can't work out. And I will go to school without bugging everybody because I'll be coughing the entire time. Uh, but it sucks. It's kind of... My mom lived with, like, chronic pain for years and she just had hip replacements, but... I kind of go to her and talk to her a lot whenever the cough gets real bad because like something so chronic that lasts that long it just like it sticks with you and it brings down your entire mood and you might not even realize it like my mom always mentioned my mom's been mentioning like her friends are all like oh you seem so much happier since your hip replacements and she didn't even realize that she was being kind of down because she was in so much pain because you kind of don't realize how it affects you. I notice it makes like my ADD worse. Like I'll re if I'm in a really bad like coughing uh, couple of days, I'm less likely to retain what I've learned in school or conversations I've had with people because my body is just trying to fight it off or whatever it is. But gosh, it's annoying. Anyway, but school has been great. I love school. I always hated that I left school. It wasn't my decision, but um. I'm so glad I'm back because I'm really smart and I hated people judging me for not being in like they just assumed I was stupid be because I wasn't in college but like excuse my language shit happens <laughs> like 
<laughs> I graduated with 3.7 in high school and I've gotten the all A's so far. I'm a computer science major. I'm totally like, I love coding and I'm pretty damn good at it. <laughs> And uh, I love being that smart kid again, you know, the one who's top of the class and suck up teacher's pet without even trying, like, unironically, like, I'm not trying to get anything out of it. I just, I love teachers. I love the learning environment. I love being around other students. I love being in college because people actually want to learn most of the time, as opposed to high school where you just kind of ran into it every once in a while. But anyway, that's enough about me. <laughs> uh... I'm glad I got into a little bit of an update. I wasn't really thinking of anything at the beginning of this video, but I'm glad I gave you guys an update. And, um, uh, hope you enjoyed the evening. Let me bring Lilia in for a second and you can kind of see the difference between a doll made... Gosh, I just had my fourth reborning anniversary, so three and a half years ago. And you can just see, you know, it's not like she's... I mean, she's slightly less realistic but so my style has changed a lot but you'll notice first of all my dolls hold up really really nice <laughs> um but there is kind of a slight you know almost as if a blue layer was painted over her they just have a slight more slightly more dull look um but I think reborns look the best after their first six months to a year because the bright like she's kind of really lively right now and her colors are really vibrant um, I like it when those fade just a tad, and that's around six months, and that's also when their rooted hair kind of settles. But, these two are super cute. This one's a forever thing. I still have Blair downstairs. And, um, maybe the next video I make will be in my new place. Love you guys. Bye.